Hi, my name is Luke Gross. I'm a licensed realtor here in the state of Florida and best-selling author for books specifically related to the real estate industry and real estate investing. And when I'm sitting down with new agents or I'm talking to people who are considering a career in the real estate field, one of the questions that they should be asking, that they're not asking, is how should I or how can I negotiate a commission split with my broker? And it's not, it's not a simple thing to do, especially as a new agent. Now, what you should try to do is find the best possible deal you can. And when I say commission, commission split, there's 100% there's of a commission, and then there's a portion of that that you have to pay back to your broker. So whether it's you're, you're keeping 75% of your commission, you're giving 25% back to the brokerage, or you're keeping 90% of your commission and giving 10% back, you're, you're determining what that commission split is going to be before you make an agreement to join that brokerage. And as a new agent, I would really stress that you find a brokerage that's going to train you and give you an incentive to get a better split. So even if in the beginning you have to give up more money, but you're getting great training and you're, you're finding a lot of opportunities, there's good energy in the office that you're working in, and you have maybe there's leads that that you're able to to get from the broker or from some other resources within the office whatever it is focus on the training at first because that's really where you're going to excel fastest you learn the business you learn how to negotiate you learn how to write contracts you learn how to get listings you learn how to work with buyers all these things you need to learn how to do that and it takes training it takes some time to learn that. So when you're with a broker who's providing that training, even if you have to give up some of your commission, you have to take a lesser split, that's fine in the beginning. But if you're going to do that, then make sure there's an incentive built in there. Where if you start selling, you start bringing money into the brokerage, they're going to start lowering the amount of money that you have to pay back. So maybe you'll go from a 70-30, to you know, 85, 15 or 90, 10 over some time and you get more comfortable with the business, you get more comfortable with the industry and then you're really starting to rock, you're starting to dominate, you start to make some real money and you're keeping more of it in your pocket. So try to get the best deal you can up front but don't compromise a really good split for good training. That's my advice, thanks.